Anyone else some coffee? Um, if you could, yeah. Then I'll check with the powers of the We'd better take you in to meet everybody inside. Uh, absolutely, you can't yes, go in that way, can not we? Yet, no, not yet. <laughs> Come on round and we'll take you. Brilliant. I'm Tracy. And I'm Dawn, the town crier. And then um, we'll have some photos as well. We've got a videographer who's following us around. And we'll do the ribbon cutting and through. And we've got a cake as Hello. well. And we have a plaque on the wall, so if we could take some photos. Um, by certainly. Yeah. You just tell me where to go and I'll dutifully follow. Fantastic. Perfectly safe. Absolutely. Yeah. Now then, <laughs> we're just doing the pictures first and then we'll do the official opening. Are you ready? Okay. Oh yeah! Okay! Oh yeah! Yay! Yay! Big cheer! Yeah. Well, I just want to say hello and welcome. Thank you, everybody, for coming on this bright day. Ish. We're very pleased to see you here at the launch of our second shop outlet. This follows on from the launch of our shop in Billbrook last year, which proved tremendously successful. And um, what the shop does is provide a whole range of what's called assistive technology to people to make their lives easier and it's all under one roof so previously people might have had to go to a variety of different places to get these products but the advantage is that it helps people to become more independent and help them to be more um, to give more self-care to themselves just through a variety buying a variety of very simple affordable products so we're very pleased that Gavin Williamson our patron and MP is here today to declare the shop open, so over to you. Okay, well it's, it's a real privilege to be here. It's, it's very nice because it's like coming from home from home. Because when you're in Parliament, you have the whips telling you exactly what to do. And now I've had a town crier telling me exactly what to do. So I feel as if I've been, I've, I've been well whipped today. And, uh, 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 in a very clean sense, I mean that. Uh, Glad you pointed that out. Uh, 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 I think I've got a lot, a lot, lot to learn about being a politician with comments like that, don't I? Um, but it's a real privilege to be here. It's fantastic just to have had a little sneak preview of a shop. I know the Billbrook shop has been very popular. Uh, I, I know that you also sell poached eggs uh, things, which I tried to buy at Billbrook, but I was informed <laughs> that I couldn't buy it when I went there because it was for display at the time. So I'm hoping to be able to buy my poached egg things uh, uh, here instead. But, uh, but no, it's a really important thing about keeping people in their homes for as long as possible because that's the best place for people to be healthy and to be well and also to be happy. And if this helps in some small way, it makes an enormous impact on to so many. So thank you for doing all your, you've been doing. Keep up doing the wonderful work. Let's not forget that so much of this is down to volunteers, people giving a little bit of their own time to help others. That is fantastic and it really is appreciated. So I think I best start, uh, start off by announcing that the shop is officially open. Ladies and gentlemen, the shop is now open! Come inside! Go and get my poached egg maker, yeah. haven't I? Yeah. Uh, you know, go and purchase that. Will yeah, I be your first customer? Oh, you could be. Yes. Oh, 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 just mill rounds and chat. Yes, absolutely. Is that okay? yeah. Thanks, and thank you so much for organising all of this. It's been there. Uh, and anything you can do anytime, just give us a shout. Keep right. the little fingers out of the out of the sockets. Can you get us all in? It's all local, that's amazing. A lot of support from local businesses. Yeah. But perhaps it is. <laughs> Thank you to Gavin for attending. It's been absolutely wonderful. And this is what I like to see. I introduce you to um, uh, David Lees, who's the Chief Officer of SSCVA. And could you give us, David, a brief explanation of the charity and the work it does? Yes, John. SSCVA, South Staffordshire Community Monetary no. Action, 
It's what we call a local support and development organisation. So in simple terms, what that means is that we provide help and advice to the local voluntary and community groups in South Staffordshire District. Um, what we do is help them with getting groups set up, or if they've got a group and they want more funding, we look for sources of funding. If they want advice with their committee, um, we can do that. Or any issues they've got around organising community organisations and events, that's what we're here for. Thank you. Um, how did the project become a reality? Well, the background to the project is this. We were having um, a number of discussions with um, health and care at the county level. And they'd, um, they had a successful outlet at Billbrook where a lot of health professionals were based and what were called the AT rooms, the assistive technology rooms. And they were very keen to get the local uh, community sector involved in promoting these aids to local people. They saw the advantages of an organisation like ours running a service. So after a little bit of time we managed to raise some money from the County Council and got the uh, service started which opened in June last year. That's been very successful and as a result of that we decided we'd open another outlet here in Brood. Thank you. What benefit will this have on the charity overall? The, the benefit um, to the charity, I think, is that it raises our profile. We're providing a service that's well needed by local people. A lot of the feedback we're getting is demonstrating that. Um, the benefits are obviously to the wider community because people come here and they buy things that they can't easily get from anywhere else. And in doing that, they're enhancing their own health um, and their general quality of life. And what is the future of the project? We'd like to see the project expand and develop, so we'd like to see more outlets like this one starting up. Uh, the project does go out and about in the wider community and promotes what it's selling through what's called a box of tricks. There'll be more of that. I think there'll be more use of local people volunteering and having an active part in the project as well. How well do you think the Brood at Home shop has been received by local residents on this, its launch today? Well, listening to people and hearing the feedback from people, we think there's a, an awful lot of interest. Um, I think people see that the shop has got um, a real role to play in local community. Um, so we'd like to see it go from strength to strength and we're confident that it will. Thank you very much for that. Thank you, John. That's Let's see how good she is. Not very Can good. she do it? <laughs> yes, she can. <laughs> There's something out me down here somewhere. There's something out me down here. There we are. Oh yay! Oh yay! Oh yay! Vigilance are brood and villagers to this fair village. Today we have opened the Brood at Home Shop. This is a community shop for the benefit of the elderly and handicapped. Our thanks go to all the volunteers who have worked tirelessly to get the shop open. God save the Queen! <laughs> That's it. Did you like that? Fantastic. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Good <idea. laughs> I'd like to introduce you to Emily Simmons, who is the Outreach Officer with SSCVA. And she is the uh, project, project officer also for the um, uh, Brood at Home uh, shop, which has opened today. So, um, what does the shop sell? Uh, we sell a range of items to help people with their mobility, to help them be more independent at home. So we sell, as you can see around us, um, large print quiz books, for people who might be visually impaired, 
large numbered clocks, we have walking sticks, we have bathing and dressing aids, um, items to help you in the kitchen to make you a bit safer, maybe if you can't grip to open jars and we have gadgets that can help you. We have a lot of low cost items and a large catalogue as well that we use to show people what they can actually order through us. Um, so that's that's predominantly what, what we what we sell and we also order in um, items specifically for people if they have um, particular needs. So. Where is the Brood at Home Shop and when is it open? The Brood at Home Shop is um, based in the centre of Brood Village at number one Stafford Street. It's actually the South Staff's Community and Voluntary Actions offices and um, it's open on Thursday mornings from 9 till 1. Uh, we'll have the doors open so that anybody can come in. Um, we're open to anybody in the local um, area and we also um, are available for people to order things online and um, they can call up as well. So we try and spread our reach as far as we can. And what specifically is the box of tricks? Ah, now the box of tricks is our mobile shop. So we take um, a couple of boxes of stock with us out to community groups and community venues like libraries and we'll do a little talk um, about assistive technologies which, is, which are the gadgets that, that you can use to make life a bit easier whether it be a walking stick or a can opener. Um, they're all termed assistive technologies. And so we take those out to, to show people what's available and what can help them and how their lives can be benefited by something that might only cost a couple of pounds. And how well do you think the, the shop, opening of the shop has been received on, in its launch today? Oh, the launch has gone really well today. We've had, the shop has been full of people. We've had people outside and all through the ground floor of the office. So we've been really lucky. We've had a lot of local support. Um, we've had all of our volunteers that have helped and worked really hard to get today um, all together and to make this, what was a meeting room, look like a proper shop. Uh, so we've been really pleased with the outcome today. We've had um, MP Gavin Williamson who's been and, and opened it officially for us. We've also had um, Peter Taunton who's the town cry for Stafford, Shropshire and Newport and he's been over and helping us today as well. So it's been a really exciting day and a, and a really good um, opening for uh, the lovely little town of Brood. And finally... What oh, village really even. <laughs> And finally, what is the future of the project? Well, we hope to um, expand. Uh, we have the Brood and the Billbrook shops now. and The Billbrook shop is open on a Friday morning, mm. 9 till 1, um, on Carter Avenue in Billbrook. And this shop in Brood will be open Thursday mornings, 9 till 1. But we're also hoping to um, expand further and, and have regular slots in community venues throughout the whole of South Staffordshire. Uh, we will also be opening an online shop at some point in the near future. So we'll be, um, as I said earlier, we'll be expanding our reach as, as far as we can to help support people who are in need of, of little gadgets to help, help make their lives a bit safer and a bit easier. That's cool. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. <laughs> Don't forget to come and see the shop open today! And that's all there is to it. Brilliant shop. Hope you get lots of love.